Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Dragon's Dogma 2 game is not loading. So if the game is not loading at all, or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So you can go to Steam and then click on exit. And once the Steam is closed, now you can open Steam once again and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to close Steam and then launch Steam as an administrator. So uh, you can close the Steam, go to Steam and then click on exit. And next time when you launch Steam, now make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to create a backup of crash report crash report.exe delete it and then launch the game now this has worked for few players so it might work for you so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to this game installation folder now over here you can see crash report exe file so before you delete it just copy this file just create a backup so i will just create a backup you can just create a backup over here now once you have the backup of this exe now you can delete this file and then you can launch the game and then check if something wrong happens you can always put the file back if you want to restore you can just copy it and paste it in the game folder once again if you want that exe file back now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. In my case, it's GeForce. Select your product type, then select your series. In my case, it's 30 series. Make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select windows 11 and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download once again and once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom over here make sure that you select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and then it will do a clean installation it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation and then restart your computer after this you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file do not ignore this just make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is complete, then launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder and here you can see this game exe file. Make a right click on game exe file and then select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again make a right click select properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not launching then this time select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok launch the game and then check again you can try this put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from the game installation folder still not working make a right click once again go to properties and this time when you put a check on the on these boxes it's not working you can uncheck all these boxes so uncheck it and then follow the next step now the next step is to first of all close the game so if the game is running make sure that you close the game and then rename config to config underscore backup so for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and over here you can see this config file 
just create create a backup of this two file that is config and config default so copy this file and create a backup just create a backup so if something wrong happens you can always put the file back you can restore the file now here you can see config you can rename this file config file as config underscore backup and then copy this config default copy this file and then once you copy it paste it in the same location now once you have this config default copy you can make a right click and then rename this as config only config only config and now you can launch the game and then check so you have this config new config over here and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now to delete the save game files open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open program files x86 now open the steam folder and now scroll down here you can see user data folder open this folder and open your steam id folder and over here you will see this 2054970 folder open this folder open the remote folder and over here you will see win64 underscore save so this has the save game file now we will delete this win64 underscore save now before we delete it we will create a backup so you can just copy this file and then you can just create a backup somewhere so once you have the backup now go to file explorer now you can make a right click and then click on delete now once this is deleted now go to steam launch the game now once you launch the game just go through this because it is starting from scratch now this game has auto save now here you can see enable network features this will allow you to hire pawns when you read this when you click on yes it will create a another save file over here so you have to delete that save file and you have to be quick enough so i will you can see on the screen i will just select yes and then i will see this new file created i will be a right click very fast you will delete this file you have to be very fast over here and then you can start the game and you will be able to start a new game but you will lose all the save game progress character so you might lose everything but you will be able to start the game from scratch so so it will be asking you to create the character once again so here you can see it's telling me to create the character so you have to start everything from scratch so you can try this you can delete the save game files and then you can launch the game but make sure that you create a backup so if something wrong happens you can always restore the file so i have the backup over here so you can just create a backup first and then delete the save game file and then launch the game and then start everything from scratch now the next step is to allow the save uh, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender macafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if, if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow 
now click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added so once uh, you have the game added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so download both the file that is x86 and x64 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair you might see the install option if you see install click on install in my case i have already installed it so it's telling me to restart my computer so just ignore this error now download this x64 file as well and again you have to run this exe file and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install i have already installed it so it's telling me to restart my computer so once the installation is complete you have to restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can try to launch the game and then check now the next step is to install media feature pack and this is for n edition if you have windows n edition like windows 10 n edition or windows 11 n edition then you can install media feature pack so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and then you can you can install the media feature pack from this website so here you can see windows 11 to h2 windows 10 so you have different version you can check the version you can type in w i n v e r winver and you can check the version over here so in my case it's windows 11 2 3 h2 and i have windows 11 home i don't have n edition but if you have n edition and the version is from here like 2 2 windows 10 2 2 h2 or 2 2 h uh, here you can see windows 10 2 1 h1 so you can install the media feature pack as per your windows and version and then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update DirectX. now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see download option click on download and then run this exe file click on yes click on accept and then next uncheck install bing bar i don't want it so next and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete you can cl click on finish restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check now if that does not work then you let me close the game first now if that does not work you can make a right click on the game select properties and this time type in dash dx12 and close this launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this from here follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to Update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings. Go to update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to if you are able to launch the game. If you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. But if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode, lower down graphics settings and then check. So launch the game first. So once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options and then go to display. Now if HDR is on, you can turn this off and then go to graphics. Now if graphics quality is set to high, uh, in that case you can set it to low. So you can just lower down graphics quality. And then if this is set to borderless window or full screen, then you can try window mode and then check now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more A refresh rate over here uh, if this is like unlimited or variable over here in that case i will select 60 hertz for now frame rate if this is unlimited you can set it to 60 I will keep at 60. VSync, if this is on, you can turn it off. So try VSync both on and off and then check which one is working fine for you. Dynamic resolution, if this is on, I will, in my case, I have turned this off. If you're using FSR, in that case, you can set it to quality. So if you're using FSR, set it to quality. But I will keep it off for me. If you're, you, you're using DLSS, in that case, you can set it to quality. So if you're using it, then set it to quality and then check. 
now nvidia reflects low latency i will turn this off now turn off ray tracing if this is on you can turn this off and then here you can see texture filtering texture quality if these are set to high you can maybe try to lower it down you can try high here you can see it's high i will select low motion blur i'll turn it off so try to make changes try to lower down graphic settings and then apply the changes and then check the performance now the last step is to now the next step is to update your system bios so update your system bios go to your system manufacturer website select your model number select your computer and then update the system bios now before you update the system bios in case of laptop make sure the battery only computer is more than 10% and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game then the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder so go to the game installation folder and then once you delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to another drive in that case you can install the game to c drive if the game is already installed in c drive then try install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel